Let's start a weekend off with some creativity. I'm Molly Fulop and this is Studio Saturdays. And today we'll be making some Shadowbox inspired art by Sam Durant. For today's project, you'll need one sheet of white paper, a ruler, a pencil, scissors, glue, a sharpie, and a sheet of color cellophane. But before we get started, let's take a closer look at our featured artwork from the collection. Sam Durant is an interdisciplinary American artist born in Seattle, Washington in 1961. Interdisciplinary artists are artists who create works in multiple areas of art. For instance, an artist who makes paintings and short films would be an interdisciplinary artist. Although Durant makes work with a variety of materials, his art focuses on contemporary and historical, social and political issues. In this case, contemporary means things happening right now in the present, but they can also refer to things that happened in the past 10 to 30 years. When we say contemporary artist, that means an artist who is making art right now or was making art within that time frame. In his Lightbox works, like everyone deserves a dream, Durant takes phrases from signs used in political protests and makes them into artworks by printing the words onto light boxes. By taking these phrases out of the specific context or time and place of the protest, Durant turns them into a more general political statement. This concept is like the artist from our previous video, Tracy Emin, whose private thoughts turn into universal ideas when made into neon sign artworks for the public to view. When thinking about what message to write for this craft, consider a cause you are passionate about or you see going on in your community, like a social issue, a problem that affects many people within a society, or a social movement, a group of people working together for a common goal. What message do you think people need to see? For today's project, we will be considering the power of words and how people share them with each other to express big ideas about our communities and the world. I will be using the same words chosen by Sam Durant, but you can look at magazines or online, with your parents' permission, to see phrases people use to express an important idea. When you find a phrase that you like, write it down. This will be the message you share in your light box. As you prepare to start your project, consider the following questions. What sources can you look at for inspiration? How can you use your text as a design to help enforce your message? Using a ruler, draw a mark at one and a half inches and another mark at two inches on the long side of the paper. Repeat this on the opposite corner and use your ruler to connect the marks by drawing a straight line. Draw the same mark at one and a half inches and another at two inches on the short side of the paper and connect them together with a ruler by drawing horizontal lines.
Using a pair of scissors, cut along the short, outermost line of the corner squares. Use a ruler to create straight folds along the longer, outermost line of the center rectangle. Repeat this on all four sides. Draw an X on the inside of the center rectangle. Lightly bend the paper in half and snip the fold to create a hole. Use this hole to cut out the center rectangle using the marked inner lines as cutting guides. When you are done cutting your paper, it should look like an empty frame. Fold over each corner flap and add glue, attaching it to the adjacent corner flap to create a box. Pinch along the folded sides of the box to create a sharp edge. Put the sheet of cellophane inside the box and draw a line where it overlaps. Cut off the extra cellophane. Use a permanent marker to write your statement. As you write, think about how the spacing, size, and style of the words you draw express different feelings. For example, all capital letters could be seen as loud or yelling. Line the inside of the box with glue and attach the cellophane to complete this Studio Saturday project. Thanks so much for joining us this week as we made some shadow box inspired art by Sam Durant. And be sure to tune in in two weeks where we'll be making some strip weed cloth inspired by a Ghanaian artist. Have a great day. Thanks again for joining us for Studio Saturdays. 
Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the notification bell to find out when a new video is uploaded. Have a good day!